Am I the asshole? For not letting my miracle baby niece be my flower girl at my wedding? My older brother and Syl both mid-thirties just welcomed their first child a year and a half ago, after years of trying. After many failed attempts, Syl was told that she wouldn't be able to conceive due to a medical condition she has, they finally got pregnant. Since having my niece, the baby has been the center of attention at every family even we've had since she was born. Birthdays, weddings, family get-togethers, you name it. Now don't get me wrong I love my niece, but it can get to be a little too much when my sill goes on and on about how long they tried to conceive, complications they've had, miscarriages they've had etc like a little too much info. Many family members have commented on how it's a little bit excessive, but no one has said anything because they don't want to sound like an R. Anyway I'm getting married in the spring and my brother and Syl approached me last weekend about having my niece be the flower girl. Now my fiancé has two children 10M and 6F from his previous marriage. His son is one of his groomsmen while his daughter had asked to be our flower girl when we told them the news that we were getting married a year ago, as it's something she always wanted to do, so of course we said yes. So I explained this to my Syl when she asked me about my niece. She asked if my stepdaughter can just carry my niece with her. I said I don't think she'd be comfortable with that considering she's six. She then asked why I can't give the troll to my niece, and allow herself to carry my niece down as the flower girl. I said no because I already promised my stepdaughter. She then started going off about how my lack of effort to incorporate my niece is disgusting to her. I should honor her in some way since I know how long and hard they tried for my niece. Now I may sound like an R for this but I kind of got fed up and snapped and said. Incorporate my niece how? By the time the wedding comes around she'll be two years old. The entire family already knows your story about how long and hard you guys tried for her. What more do you expect me to do to honor her? She started crying and said that clearly I don't love my one and only niece and I'm letting her down. I said of course I love my niece and obviously she's going to be involved in pictures and stuff. But I'm not going to let my stepdaughter down by giving my niece a role she's too young to remember anyway. Well now Syl and my brother are pissed off with me for not letting my niece be flower girl, and are running around telling the rest of the family I don't love my niece. My mom had been trying to stay neutral but thinks my stepdaughter would understand if I explained to her I need to give that role to my niece. I'm firm in my decision though, and my fiancé is thankful that I didn't let his daughter down. Am I the asshole? For not allowing my niece to be the flower girl? Not the asshole. She's their miracle baby, not yours. The fact that they want you to disappoint you soon to be stepdaughter, in order to make their daughter the focus of your wedding is absurd. Thinks my stepdaughter would understand if I explained to her I need to give that role to my niece. So unlike you, a regular kid, my niece is a miracle baby and therefore more important and deserving, even though she's a toddler and less closely related. Oh hell no. Good job standing up for your choices and your stepdaughter. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. If they don't understand why breaking a promise to your future stepdaughter is a bigger issue than letting your sister carry her toddler down the aisle, they're self-centered jerks. Point out this is you making sure your stepchildren are welcome and feel like they belong. Put your foot down hard on this bullshit. Your niece is not more important than your stepdaughter to you, any more than your stepdaughter would not be more important than your niece to her. Not the asshole. Your wedding, your choice. Your sill is lucky you didn't say no children under X age because that is becoming super popular. Not the asshole. Do not, for the love of all things holy, let your niece be flower girl. Your sill needs to learn that her kid is not more important to you than your soon to be stepchildren, you are taking on a big role in the lives of these children and they have to know that you are going to stick up for them. This is the hill and if you need to die on it with your sill then so be it. Not the asshole. Hold your ground. My sympathies to the baby though. 
Imagine growing up your whole life being told you're a miracle and the center of the universe. That's going to be one messed up kid. Not the asshole. Your family is cracked in the head if they think that you should treat someone else's kid like they are your kid at the expense of your literal step kid. Like your step kid is your kid. Ask them why they are refusing to honor and love your step kids. Natar. Do not make your stepdaughter share the light or step down. That will only cause issues. Not the asshole and a two years old for sure doesn't give a f of being a flower girl, while your stepdaughter does. Sweet Jeebus, you are not the asshole. Incorporating a two year old is hard enough. You are absolutely doing the right thing by incorporating your stepdaughter. It's great that your sill was finally able to conceive, but her struggles to have a baby are now over. Just because it was a challenge that doesn't mean your niece needs to be the center of attention at every family event. She's potentially harming her child by putting this kind of focus on her. Bottom line is you did nothing wrong and your sill is taking this too far. Not the asshole do not do this, stepkids already have to share way more than they were ever consulted for. Let her do this by herself without princess niece or later in life we'll all be reading on dear edit am I the asshole? For not wanting my stepmom's niece at my. Not the asshole and I feel really sorry for that miracle baby. It is going to have to have so much therapy to get over what is going to be a traumatic childhood by this nutball mother. Not the asshole at all. There is way your niece gets to be a part of this, over your stepdaughter. Her dad is getting married. And there is no need to honor the miracle baby at every family event. Your sister needs to be careful as this special story about her daughter will soon become the joke of the family if she keeps pushing it. Not the asshole. Stepdaughter trumps niece. And the miracle birth part is irrelevant to that. This is your partner's child, of course she comes first. Hard not the asshole your fiancé's daughter wants to do it, is the appropriate age, etc 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 your sister needs therapy. Your niece is not the main character in your have a flower girl who is the groom's daughter. Daughter of the groom trumps niece of the bride. Sill is way the hell out of line. People dot effing hell. Not the asshole. Not the asshole your niece won't know or remember the wedding at all. So the only one your sill is trying to benefit is herself. And to suggest that you remove your husband's own daughter from the wedding so that your sill can feel special is just narcissistic as hell. Not the asshole do not give the flower girl role to your niece. Two is too young even for miracle child. Your stepdaughter deserves to be part of her father's wedding. It will be a core memory for her if she's excluded. Not the asshole. Hold your ground against Syl. If you don't stop this mindset of her miracle baby being the center of the universe, it will only continue to get worse. Remind her if she's gonna spread nasty lies about you and involve family to create sides, you probably don't need her to be a guest at your wedding to avoid drama. Not the asshole. Your stepdaughter is excited and should rightfully be involved in the wedding. She's six things like this are exciting at that age. Your sister-in-law sounds like a royal pitter.